Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ollie and today I just wanted to talk about the misconception with the strong black woman. Um, I was watching an interview Amanda Seals did with The Breakfast Club and something she said really resonated with me. She was, she's talked about how she was, she's done enough of the strong black woman and now she just wants to be taken care of. And it's just, and I really, I really felt that. I, I felt that hard. Because, you know, like, I'm someone that that considers myself an independent, strong black woman. And, and it's, and I, I often, I honestly believe that that's something that's been put in us, that's been pushed on us. You know, like, I don't hear people say independent, strong white woman, independent, strong Asian woman, independent, strong Latina woman. I don't hear any of that. So why is it that? Why is this thing pushed on us so hard? Why is it pushed on black women? Why do we have to be the strong women? Why do we have to be like the the outspoken people? Why do we have to be the you know super masculine women? Why can't we be vulnerable? Why can't we be soft? Why can't we depend on a man? Like why can't we cry in public? And I feel like for so long, and it's, I, and I, I honestly, I believe this started like, you know, from the history of America, like where men were taken, the men were sold and the women were left to take care of the families. Um, you know, the women, they were, you know, they weren't just breastfeeding their own child, but they were also like, they had to feed the white woman's child as well. And, and it's like for, for the longest, I feel like our softness was almost kind of like taken from us, you know? And even to this day too, like there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, women, black women who are left in the house, taking care of the family, holding down the home because the men had been incarcerated. And, and I just want to start with saying that first, it is okay for us to be soft. And I feel like for me, that's something I had to like, um, except for myself as well, you know, cause I've always been like the tough one. And the thing is like, when you're, when you're branded as the tough one, you feel as though you can't be soft anymore. Like you can't cry. You know, you have to put on this image that you got it all together. You know, why is it okay for other women to cry in public and be soft and vulnerable, but us, we can't be that. It's okay. Like you can be an independent woman and still crave the love you know, and care of a man. It's okay. Like, it doesn't make you less of a feminist. It doesn't make you less of a, like, a, a, a strong person or, like, like, it doesn't take that away from you. Like, it's okay. Like, I feel like there's this thing that's been going around as though, and I see it all the time, like, you know, like, Beyonce's over here singing about, like, um, being a single woman, being, um, you know, like, being powerful all by yourself. But then she's over here, she has a husband, she has kids. And Nicki Minaj for the longest, her songs were all about being like, you know, this strong woman, like don't need a man type thing. But you know, she's over here like, you know, she has her husband, she's happy, she's pregnant. It's funny that even the musicians or the artists they are singing these songs about, they're, they're also pushing this narrative and this agenda on like women, especially on like on, on, on black women as though like, you know, we are good by ourselves. But then also them themselves are also craving that love. I even remember on The Real, um, Lonnie broke down and she started crying about how like, oh, it's okay, it's okay to want a man. It's okay, you know, we don't have to go around saying that we need a, that we don't need a man. Um, the, and it's funny because they, for the longest, kept, you know, pushing this independent woman don't need a man, that she's good all by herself. But then apparently she probably goes home and cries, you know, but, Lo and behold, as soon as she got her, her man, you know, like the tunes have changed. She's now like being real about how, look, I was lonely. I needed someone. And I feel like a lot of us, like, you know, there's this thing that's been pushed on us, especially as black women, that we can't like express those kind of feelings. And then there's this thing about, you know, it's almost as though like we're supposed to be like super woman. And, and we've seen like, you know, the negative impact that has had on us. Where it's like even, and even when we come to the hospital, it's almost as though like we're supposed to somehow we, we take pain more than other women take pain, but no, it's not true. Like we're not super humans, we're regular humans. We we'll feel we feel pain too. We feel pain. I'm not gonna, just cause the fact I'm a black woman don't mean that, you know, I'm somehow stronger. You know, like I'm somehow, I can take pain more than any other women can. It's not okay. And also like, it's like, why aren't we allowed to show emotions? 
even in shows like we are the, we are always the ones who are like you know sassy and strong and have it all together like and um I rarely see like I see more white women cry in movies and shows and I see black women cry so we're always like the strong one we're always the ones that's telling other like always trying to like you know bring others together like hold other people down but it's like it's like how long are we going to keep holding people down like I would love to see more representations of black women like being taken care of black women crying being vulnerable being soft because we are all of those things too we're humans just like everybody else and i feel like what it does it just put paints this neg negative um it, it just pushes this thin you know this toxic mindset on like young women young black women where you know like and it and i feel like it and it, it leads to just like just mental instability where and depression you know where like you know, when you feel as though, like, you can't show emotions, you can't show how you feel, you can't be vulnerable, that means, like, you're suppressing all of that, and at some point, it's going to take a toll on you. Like, when it comes to love, like, I whole struggle love thing, I see it more with black women than I see with any other race. And I feel like it's also pushed on us. We're, like, we're always encouraged, like, well, you know, stick it out, stick with the man, you know, like, struggle with him. Why is struggle love pushed on us? Why are we always the ones holding it down? Why do we always have to hold the men down? So we're constantly being encouraged, like even in love, like we're constantly being encouraged as though like we shouldn't receive love. We should be the ones constantly giving love. We should be the ones holding the men down. We should be the ones like giving love to the men, like building them up, building them up, building them up. But okay, as we're building them up, who's building us up? If you're in a relationship where you are not being taken care of, where you are not gi being given th the love that you deserve, where you're not being sown into, you're not being built up, you know, may maybe maybe you should leave that relationship. Instead of saying like, okay, stay, stay with the man, struggle with the man, you know, hold him down. It's like black women are always being encouraged to hold men down. Why can't we be held down? Like, for real though. To me, this is something that really needs to change. Where it's almost as though like we somehow are stronger, like we're genetically stronger somehow. No, like we go through like the same emotions everybody else goes through, and it's time that that it, it's, it keeps being pushed on us to suppress all of those emotions and just be strong, or so just be superhuman, be um, magical, be mystical, like. It's, I don't know, I just, that's just how I feel. And just the fact that she honestly said that, because Amanda Seals is a very, she's a, she's a strong woman. You know, she's a strong black woman. And the fact that she's she's recognizing and admitting that, you know what, I, I am strong, but sometimes I just want to like, I just want to push that off for now and just be taken care of. And it's all okay. And I don't see her, I don't, the fact that she says that she wants to be taken care of, like, I don't see her, you know, as less of a, of a strong woman. After watching that, after watching that interview, I have, like, a new respect for her. I might not agree with everything that she's about, but one thing I can say is that I have a new respect for her, for being vulnerable and real enough to say, you know what? I am tired of being a strong black woman. I've always been like the independent one. In, even in my family, like, especially just, there's a, a lot of us, like, you know, I've always been the independent one. I've been the one that, you know, I, t I take care of myself. You know, like, I was the first to move out the house. And um, and it's, I've, it's always been like a thing where like, you know, like I'm always expected to have it together. And I've always gone on with that mindset as though like, you know, I have it together. Like this person, I have it together. And it's, and there's times where like, and I've, I've had like several like, mental like emotional breakdowns like by myself in my room where it's like I have to just really admit to myself like I don't have it all together you know like sometimes I just want to be a princess I want to be held you know I want to be taken care of like really treated like a princess and and it's okay like it doesn't and, and it, it doesn't make me feel less less strong it doesn't make me feel less independent it makes me feel human it's okay to say, you know what, I don't have it all together. It's okay to break down. You know, like it's okay. So that's 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 really what I have. And I hope, you know, that will, 
you know, we just, Amanda still is like really, you know, recognizing that about herself that a lot more of us will also start thinking that way where we, we start admitting to ourselves and really just start pushing back against this whole strong black woman thing. So it's time we stop pushing this whole strong black woman thing on ourselves and also stop others from pushing it on us because it's really toxic. That's all I have on this topic. Um, let me know your thoughts below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.